High school students want to feel that safety. Today, a group at Benson High walked out calling for gun safety measures. They want action so that they are never victims of a school shooting. Joey Savchik is live with their message tonight. Joey. David, we were here when students walked out. They missed class. They missed lunch. They say they even missed finals. They walked all the way down this street off campus. And one student told me that some of their earliest memories of school involve lockdowns and active shooter drills. This is a generation that doesn't know a world free of school shootings. This is not how these students plan to spend their last few days of school, but they don't feel like they have a choice. School shouldn't be a hunting ground. It's a place where we're supposed to go to learn and become successful. But when we're fearing for our lives, we, we can't do that. High schoolers at Benson walking the walk. Being a little noisy about it puts pressure on people to do the right thing. We shouldn't be afraid to go to school. Most of these students were in elementary school during the Sandy Hook shooting, in middle school during the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas, and now high school for the tragedy in Texas. We shouldn't have to fear for our lives being in school. They say this march is more important than any finals they might be missing. If someone comes into the school that wants to hurt me, what am I going to use my final for? Like, this takes priority. Young as they are, they already feel the heavy burden of protecting the next generation. I have to fear for my eight-year-old sister who, like, like, legit has asked me, hey, am I going to get shot? That's scary. My sister shouldn't be asking me, am I going to die? They hope adults can learn from their anger and their action, but right now, they don't feel they're being heard. We wouldn't be out here in the rain, in the cold, yelling and screaming for our lives. Our lives could be next. Even during a week shrouded by rain and darkness, they hope change lies down the road. And David, we've just received a statement from the school. Benson principal Tom Wagner says while the school shares in the grief students feel and respects the right of students to advocate for causes, school policy is that students not in class will be marked true. And we just got that statement a few minutes ago, but I have to tell you the students we spoke to today say they don't care about consequences. They feel the need to take a stand and we've already heard about other walkouts planned around the district. Reporting live, Joey Safchik, KETV News Watch 7.